hey 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 welcome back to my channel so today i'm bringing to you an african dish and this is usually eaten by the people of western africa i'm talking about the okra stew the vegetable okra is very very healthy and it has so many health benefits without wasting much time let's just get started so first of all i am going to need some okra and here i have about 400 grams of okra now I'll cut the tip and with the help of my slicer, I'll just slice them up. The slicer comes in very handy, especially if you have to cut vegetables. It will slice them into very thin pieces. When I get to the end, I'll just throw the head away. After slicing everything, this is what we have here. I'll get a pan and put my okra into it. I'll come in with enough water to cover up the okra. When you're cooking the okra, put in a little bit of salt. I'll cover it and cook it on low fire for about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's ready now and as you can see, it's very, very slimy. And that is the main characteristic of okra. Now I'll set this aside for later. I'm going to be using some fresh mackerel. And I'm also going to be using some shrimps. This will make it extra delicious. Now I'll put a pan on fire and come in with some red oil. I must say okra stew is very very delicious with red palm oil. The oil is solid because we are in the winter. After it has melted, I'll come in with my garlic. I'll fry it for about a minute. Next, I'll come in with some chili pepper. After about a minute, I'll come in with my chopped onions. I'll cook this on low fire for about 4 minutes. Next, I'll drop in about a tablespoon full of concentrated tomatoes. And I'll pour in about 200 grams of fresh mashed tomatoes. I'll come in with my favorite seasoning, some black pepper salt to taste and some dark soy sauce i'll come in with a little bit of water mix it up and cover it up to cook i'll let this cook for about 15 minutes after 15 minutes i'll come in with my fresh macro i'll cook it for about 10 more minutes Then I'll drop in my fresh shrimps. As you know, you don't need to overcook the shrimps or else you are going to lose the flavor. I'll cover this up and let it cook for about 10 more minutes. Finally, I'll pour in my cooked okra. Now I'll give it a good mix and let this cook for about one minute. You don't want to overcook it because if you overcook this, you are going to lose the sliminess. So it's been after one minute and our okra stew is ready. Ladies and gentlemen, you are invited. I must tell you, this is so delicious and is very, very healthy as well. Depending on where you find yourself, okra can be a little bit expensive or it can be very, very cheap. But if you have a little background garden, you can grow some okra. You can get the seeds from Amazon. So I hope you did like this and I hope you are going to give it a try. If you do, you can send me some pictures and let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me a big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye!